So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. We're taking a little road trip today. We are headed to Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. It's a small town, kind of in the center of the state, mm -hmm. I would say. Started off as a little logging town. Then it uh, kind of transformed into a coal town. And today you can find really nice bed covers in Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. So that's what we're going out to get uh, for the Super Duty. And coincidentally, it's not far from where Hannah, Tyler, and grandson Bo live. So we're going to stop and see them, right? Yep. Looking forward to it. So when we bought this Super Duty, I mentioned that I wanted to get a quality bed cover for it. And there were dozens, I mean dozens of people that recommend, did you see I have my hand up in the air like this and someone thought I was waving to them. But there were dozens of people that recommended this place that we're going to. And uh, I checked them out and I'm pretty excited about this. Diamondback bed covers.
um, right over here and over here. We basically put the raw metal in, we run programs, and the truck gets lasered out and, uh, you know, gets turned into whatever the the base structure is for the cover, just a flat, right. flat piece. Um, like right here. So there's on your truck the center panel, your cover, that's the center panel, this is either a cab or a tail panel. Um, so that's uh, basically, yeah, the laser well, or get out of all the holes out of there. Yep. Cuts all the holes out, cuts the main structure out. Um, then from there, depending on if you're getting all coated or not, um, so like yours is the diamond plate coated. It goes into a sandblast because that helps get the adhesion of the uh, the coating on there real well. Right. If it's just a plain diamond plate, no um, no coating, it'll just go move along in the process to get done. Um, so it looks to me just raw material comes in here. You do everything here. Pretty much, yeah, for the most part. Except maybe like the cylinders or something. They. Yeah, I mean the shocks or whatever they call. Yeah, I mean most of the accessories we have on it are. Uh, yeah, we just cut the stuff out here. Like the studs are in the bottom out, we cut them out. Yeah, the majority of the stuff we cut out. But yeah, yeah. like shocks, um, the locks we actually get shipped in, the little cylinders that open, yeah. um, close it. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of it's a lot of it's made here. You guys are set up here, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, Yeah, and the sad part is, I mean, I, like I said, I've only been here a year, but my understanding is we're out there on this facility as well. For really? A short, short amount of time, yeah, so. <laughs> What's over on that side over there? So we can walk around, yeah. Over there, once it comes out of here, it goes to our weld shop. That's where our guys, you know, once everything's bent, they'll weld the corner pieces in. Yeah. They'll, um, you know, weld your studs in, weld everything else underneath there. Um, here, you can see this later. Yeah. But yeah, we just have. I'm guessing they're CNC. I don't know. Manufacturing engineering takes care of a lot of that, but they're just CNC programs that cut things out and yeah. Yeah. we have a lot of weld corners in here. Yeah. Um, that way it's got a nice finished look. They'll weld studs underneath. Um, yeah. What piece is that he's making right there? That would be your center panel. Um, it's got a little gutter that comes up that so if any water does get past the seal you have to cover up. Right. Put the shed and that along the bed side and out of the bed and set it on the way to the Nice. Yeah, so here's our wall shot. Um, as you see, we got covered to get up there. But right. basically, we have some monitors. They come in, they dig in their uh, the studs. You can see right there, they got studs. Yeah. It's done set up right there. Um, so put them in, or weld them in. They just kind of, you know, do a couple, two, three balls all the way down. You know, right. Um, yeah, we've got a nice cover welding over here. Everyone there is how they do the sentry, so like the cover dry. Um, we do thin. I don't know if you want thin or not. Um, yeah. Other stuff like that. Um, the accessories that are nice and goes down the line as you can see on the other end. You can probably get a better look on the other end, but it goes in paint so we get a uh, the initial um, like black base down yeah. with the paint and then we put the top coat which is the gritty you know truck bed liner and stuff right. on top. Um, we actually have a robot that does the, the base coat on there oh, which really? is pretty cool. And then here so once it comes off there bring it over here this is our finish line this is where you get all your hardware installed your hinges your your weather stripping your locks and then back here we have there we'll put your locks in uh put your lock rods right someone's usually putting uh lock cylinders and and stuff there and so on and so forth um yeah it's, it's a pretty interesting thing plus you know it's, it gets kind of interesting because we have a lot of you know, we do a lot of different truck models, so a lot of parts, a lot yeah. of cover sizes are different. Put on the cover, lift it up. And then depending on what you get, we'll, uh, you know, we'll throw a cross spin in a box on top of this. We just got this guy not too long ago to, to uh, Drink wrap automatic it. wrap. Yeah, it works pretty well. Not without trial and error, but... Uh, and then... The and then it's shipping over here? Yes, sir. Yeah, we usually have a couple of uh, trailers lined up here. But we use, like, SDs or one of those guys. And, uh, 
throw it all on there. We have a nice trash compactor back there, a nice dumpster. Very nice. Yeah, so basically, your raw material comes in on that corner over there. Yep. And everything just works around and ends up right here and out this door. Correct, yep. Pretty yep. cool. Yeah, like I said, unfortunately, uh, I think they built this building back in 2017. There's another building down there that we were working out of. Um, it's like a, a big campus. And they built this, and they were like a year later, like, crap. Yeah, <laughs> we that's the way it goes. But luckily, they bought all the land around here at the bottom of this cul-de-sac. Yeah. So it should be, um, yeah. It should be nice. Very neat, man. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's, it's, it's a cool operation. And then over here, we do, this is where we do a lot of our accessory stuff. So, like cross pins, we'll get welded over here, and we do our packaging cross pins or something right. over here. And you can see it's spraying. Yep. As you can see the very elaborate, we just, you know, have padding up against the wall and just, uh, What do you think, Melissa? Very nice. You fit a lot of stuff in here, huh? Yep. It's an upgrade. Very nice. All right, so now we're going to go see... Uh, Daughter Hannah. Daughter Hannah, grandson Bo. I asked Melissa, I said, do you love that bed cover? Because I'm... I am ecstatic. And what did you say, Melissa? Well, I, I just saw it, so... <laughs> She's like, I don't know enough about it I yet. I didn't fall in love with it just yet. I mean, I don't hate it or anything. <laughs> just, you're like, do you love it? I'm like, I just looked at it and it looks really nice. But so I, I don't I'm think. I'm not sure I love it. I don't think a quality bed cover means as much to you as it does me then. I think you're right. Once right. you get out and look at, see, she waited in the truck here. Yeah. And was while we, while they installed it and we did a little tour of the factory there. But, uh, oh, really? That's good. I'm sure that helped you fall in love. It's really nice. I, it looks really nice. It really is. Yeah, Melissa. like I love that it's black, and I love that it's on Heavy top of the duty. bed. Yeah, it's a cover. It's strong. Yeah. There's a lot of good qualities. So we left the Diamondback facility in Phillipsburg a little while ago, and it's only about a half hour to get to daughter Hannah's. So I visited with them for a little bit. I left Melissa there. I've got a little running around to do, and then we're going to meet them for dinner. But I tell you what, I am in love with this cover on this truck i mean it we'll get pulled over up here somewhere and i'll give you a better look at it but uh, it was also pretty cool being able to go through their whole facility from where the raw materials enter to the other side of the building where the finished product comes out nice to see an american made quality product i mean quality i've mentioned many times before uh, I don't like junk. I don't like things that perform that don't perform as advertised. So I try to do my best to do research, talk to other people, and and find good products and good companies. And I think we have discovered a home run with the Diamondback. Really, really nice. Speaking of nice, this is pretty nice out through here. Nice area of uh, Pennsylvania, Belfont, State College area, really pretty out here. Even this time of year when everything's brown and gray.
right, so I just sprayed off the truck here at probably the nicest car wash I've ever been to. Red Line here in State College. But yeah, you go inside one of the bays there, the doors close. Really nice. I have trouble fitting this truck in, you know, regular drive-through car wash. Uh, if you take the hitch off the back, it won't set the sensors off. But I mean, it's just close. So I don't even really try, but an eight foot bed uh, crew cab, really long truck. I wanted to uh, spray it off for a couple reasons. One, I had salt all over it from the roads. And the other thing, I wanted to see how well the new Diamondback cover is sealed up. But so far, absolutely love this thing. The quality of construction, really, really nice. All these tie downs on here, this holds 1,600 pounds on top. Very nice locks on it. So you open the back, you can open the front, you can take these panels off if you want. But what's nice is you've got all that room in the bed and you could like haul lumber and stuff on top of it. Uh, you could even put your four wheeler up there if you wanted. But that's why I got the headache rack as well. I figure if I strap some lumber up here or anything long, I don't have to worry about the back window of the truck. There's even these tie downs up here. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. We'll open the back up here. As you can see, it's nice and dry inside, but this tray, I would already highly recommend this if you get one. These trucks are so high, but you know, I could put chainsaws in here, put anything I want in there. Really, really nice feature right here. You can reach right in there, and you still have your whole bed and eight feet, you know, underneath this tray. I had to put her down. Just super. Takes a lot to get me excited. This gets me very excited. So uh, sitting in a car wash here in State College is not the place to go over that completely, but I wanted to give you a quick look at it. When I get home, probably in the next day or two, we're gonna load this up with some stuff for a trip to West Virginia. Uh, but so far, very, very impressed. Like I said, it takes a lot. You know, I'm 57 years old. I don't get excited about too much anymore. I just, I just like nice quality things. And uh, this is a really nice bed cover. It really is. And I want to thank all of you that uh, recommended the Diamondback to me. I'll be honest. I didn't even know these existed up until a few months ago. And when I mentioned that I wanted to get a nice bed cover for this truck, a uh, ton of people mentioned Diamondback, and people are still commenting about Diamondback, guys that have them, and they really like them. See, I, want, I wanted this nice eight-foot bed on this truck, uh, primarily for like when we go to West Virginia. Say you get down there for two or three days, you have to take a lot of stuff with you. And I bumper pull, so I wanted a bed cover uh, like this. It's one of the downsides, in my opinion, uh, a fifth wheel or uh, like a gooseneck trailer is great. Don't get me wrong, but you've got this nice big bed back there, and you hate to lose all that space when you need the space. We will take this truck this coming fall out west and... Uh, being able to lock that thing up tighter than a drum back there is just awesome. You know, a lot of bed covers, you could literally take a knife to them and grab whatever's in there if somebody uh, was inclined to do so. But really like it so far. I do. And once again, thanks for everybody that recommended Diamondback. 
I think it's a perfect fit here for the uh, Super Duty. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. At some point, I'm going to get with those guys at Diamondback and we'll do a complete tour of their facility if they're interested in doing that. Uh, we got kind of a walk around today and it was great. But all the noise, all the equipment, all that, I didn't have my good microphones and wasn't really set up for that. I was not expecting them to uh, offer that. But uh, it's really cool seeing how things evolve. And uh, the story of how this company got started is pretty interesting as well. Very interesting. Really cool story. But that's about it. We're going to go meet Melissa, Hannah, and little Bo for dinner. And I will catch you on the next one.